the 4th of July 1946, in front of a huge crowd in Gdansk, the former guards of Sturzhoff concentration camp were brought to the gallows. These were men and women who were considered the most brutal of concentration camp guards, and Sturzhoff was a site which was known for dozens of executions. Each of the condemned were loaded on the back of trucks, and they would then be driven under a huge set of gallows, which stood for everyone around to have a good view of the executions. But on the trucks with the condemned were a number of officials, including those who would place a noose around the neck of the former guards. But with the executions of the women, it is noticeable that one of the executioners was in fact a woman, and she is dressed in what appears to be striped pyjamas, or possibly a prisoner uniform of the concentration camps. But what is the story of this woman? Join us today as we look at the ruthless female executioner that hang the female guards of Sturzhoff. And as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Sturzhoff concentration camp opened its gates almost as soon as the Second World War broke out with the German invasion of Poland. The camp was established by a number of Polish prisoners who had been listed as needing arrest, and these first victims became the people who made the buildings and the different barracks. They even had to build where they would sleep. But as the war went on, there were a large amount of prisoners who would be transferred and sent to Sturzhoff, especially as the war turned against the Germans, and the prisoner population would grow. In 1944, the number of inmates rose, and many of those new prisoners were Jewish inmates who had been sent from camps such as Auschwitz. 24,000 prisoners were sent from Auschwitz, and to cope with the large amount of people transferred, more guards were brought to the camp. Some SS guards of Sturzhoff had been conscripted into the war effort, so officials looked towards a local area to recruit guards and staff who would become brutes inside of the camp. This included a number of women, but the conditions of the camp broke down. There was a huge overcrowding problem, and disease spread quickly around the site, killing many inmates. Also, there was a huge lack of food and starvation was also a significant problem. The prisoners came from many different countries, and the guards were carrying out killing and execution on a daily basis. Prisoners were being executed on the gallows in front of other inmates, and the conditions of the camp were made much worse with the fact that mud was everywhere, and some inmates even drowned in the mud, and beatings were administered by a number of guards who brutalised prisoners. But in total around 65,000 prisoners were killed in the camp, and many were exterminated through the forced labour they were made to do. But at the end of the war the Sturzhoff trials would take place, and this saw a number of former guards being brought to a courtroom in Gdansk to answer for their evil. There were many former members of staff who were never brought to justice who worked at the camp, and still today the German authorities are seeking former guards of camps such as Stutthof. But the first trials of Stutthof saw a group of ex-guards and overseers of the Stutthof camp, and also the subcamp for women, being brought to trial. Of these defendants there were 12 who were sentenced to death, and these people were of varying power inside of Stutthof. Johann Powles was the most senior guard condemned, but there were also a number of women who were condemned. These included Jenny Wanda Barkman, who was known as a beautiful spectre, Elizabeth Becker, Wanda Clough, Eva Parides, and Gerda Steinhoff. These women were all sentenced to death, and some of them had only been at the camp less than a year. But each of the women were known for their brutality and evil, and it was clear that throughout the trial they did not take the proceedings seriously, as they would giggle and laugh during evidence, and they would be more bothered with their hair than the crimes they had committed. But the executions of the guards on Biskupia Gorka Hill in Gdansk were a huge statement to the people who came to witness. The city had suffered during the Second World War, and many people had been deported from the city to Sturtov and other camps where they were then slaughtered inside of these. But these men and women were said to have been horrific war criminals, and to witnesses they would have been the worst evil Nazis. But on the day of their executions, the men and women were brought out to Biskupia Gorka, a large hill in Gdansk, they were then paraded in front of the crowds. Dozens of thousands flocked to witness the proceedings, but there was one specific execution that saw seemingly a female executioner carry out the execution of a woman who was condemned. Wanda Clough was just 24 when she was led to the gallows, and she had come to Stutzhoff to work as a guard following her marriage. She was accepted to work as an overseer, and she was known for being a brute who would happily whip and beat prisoners with her bare hands and with weapons. She worked inside of the various subcamps of Sturtov and was only at the camp around a year before she tried to flee and escape justice. But she wouldn't be the smartest with this and she returned home and the authorities then caught up with her and arrested her. 
but Wanda Clough would admit to her crimes during the trial, and she would, brazenly brag, about how she would take great pleasure in striking inmates to make them work harder, and she would get stuck into the destructive nature of the camp. But like the other condemned women, she was brought to a large, huge gallows on the 4th of July 1946. Like the other women, she was helped onto the back of a truck, with a number of guards on it, and then she was reversed up to the gallows, where the noose was dangling ready for her. But Clough would be joined on the back of the vehicle by seemingly two executioners. There was a man who was dressed in a suit, and he presumably was the one who would read out the death sentence of Wanda Clough to the crowd, so they could be reminded of the reason why she was being executed. But more interestingly is the presence of a woman who acts as the executioner for the death sentence of Wanda Clough. This woman seemingly in the pictures of Clough's execution is holding her arms behind her back, which have been tied, and she is restraining her to prevent her falling off the vehicle or trying to escape. She is dressed in high-heeled shoes and is wearing a dress, but over her dress is a rather intriguing blue and white striped shirt, which goes down to her knees. With this, it leads us to believe that this woman, who is acting as the executioner, may have been a woman who was imprisoned inside of the concentration camps, or she may have been part of a women's camp at Stutthof, where women like Clough worked. She may have also been wearing this to represent the victims of the concentration camps. The woman also has rather neat hair tied back, and the pair stand in front of a stall in which Clough would later be told to stand on when the noose was secured around her neck. But the role of this woman cannot be doubted, as there are other men who are stood with the condemned on the back of trucks wearing these striped, recognisable shirts and uniforms. This makes us think that these executioners were possibly former prisoners who were allowed to have a feel of vengeance for the sufferers at the camp. But after the death sentence of Clough was read, the woman was then helped by others to get Clough to stand on the stool, and following this, the woman then placed a noose around one the Clough's neck. There was no black hood used. When the noose was secured, the instruction was then given for the truck to drive slowly forward. As the truck drove forward, with the female executioner and other officials on, one the Clough was left dangling for the crowd to see from the gallows, and they would look on for a few minutes as she struggled and kicked about. Within minutes, she had died, which was then loaded into a coffin after being cut down from the gallows. But the identity of the female executioner is rather unknown, but there are still many questions regarding who she was and what her role specifically was. She may have been a former concentration camp prisoner who was allowed to enact some vengeance, or she may have been an assistant of the executioners in Gdansk. This is rather unlikely though, as traditionally executions were performed by men in this region. They used devices such as the guillotine. But seeing a woman acting in this capacity would have surprised the crowds that looked on. There were many that spectated as the bodies of the former guards of Sturthof dangled from the gallows, but the mysterious female executioner that condemned Wanda Clough is a rather captivating story. Of course, much of this video is speculating who she really is and what she did, but we'd love to hear more if anyone has any information regarding her. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.